All right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? All my people in Manhattan, the Boogie Down Bronx, Queens, all the way out to Staten Island, my homeboy Brooklyn. Back at it with another video. This one's going to be um, probably my favorite NBA player, one of my favorite NBA players of all time, Mr. Russell Westbrook. And how will he be remembered? And obviously, you see the legacy of Russell Westbrook. Okay? Now, <laughs> Russell Westbrook is my favorite player, but in this video, we got to be honest about him. Okay? Russell Westbrook's legacy to me is he's going to be the like the triple double man. The triple double man, you know, he won the MVP, put up great stats year in, year out, but you know, could never win the big one, never get over the hump, didn't have a high enough basketball IQ. He had great teammates, but a great team, good coaches around him, but you know, didn't have the IQ, didn't want to, you know, to make them better and be like a real point guard. Okay, so that's an unfortunate thing, he's going to be remembered, but. Yeah, even though, like I say, I got to keep it honest now. Honest with him. No. Russell Westbrook is, to me, like, and shout out to Chronicles Judah 144. I heard him say this. The Allen Iverson of his generation, you know. All you who know about AI, AI was, you know, put up great stats year in, year out, won the MVP, got a team. But unlike Westbrook, he got a team to the finals by himself. You know, athletic freak of nature and a little dude, six feet, athletic, could score the rock, but... He got him to the finals, but couldn't win it all. Okay, you could say he had poor teammates around him. Russell Westbrook, but unlike you no, know, unlike AI, Russell never really had poor teammates around him. At least in Oklahoma City, even to now. You know, even that year he won the MVP. You know, Victor Oladipo was nice. Oladipo was okay. You know, Stephen Adams. You know, he never. And Andre Roberson was a great, a good defender. But you know, very good defender. But you know, he never really had poor team. Like AI, he, his whole time in Philly, he had you know. Dikembe Mutombo. You can know, say Jerry Stackhouse and the young Iguodala, but that's about it. You know, he didn't really get with great teammates until, like, Denver when he had Melo and J.I. and Kmart and Marcus Camby and all of them. But, yeah, back to this. Yeah, Russell Westbrook, you know, that's what his legacy is. But he, he's more athletic. He's faster. You know, can jump out the gym. You see here, here is UCLA, his rookie card at UCLA. That's going to be his legacy, man. But, like I said, Russell Westbrook is one of my favorite players of all time. Probably like my top five in terms of my favorite players, okay? Okay, I'll make that clear. He's not, I'm not saying he's the top five greatest of all time, but he's in my top five favorite players. Like players I enjoy watching, you know, him, you know, even Larry Bird. Even though I'm a born New Yorker, so you know, I hate Boston, but you know, I gotta give it up to Larry Bird, you know, Kobe, T Mac, Michael Jordan, even guys like Gilbert Arenas, you know, just guys I like to watch. Like, I, I like to watch their highlights, AIs, and that. Is in that class, you know. Russell Westbrook definitely probably my favorite. Like I like to watch his highlights, but yeah, you know, I was here's a young Russell Westbrook in Oklahoma City. Like Oklahoma City, man, they're the dynasty that never happens. You no, know, unfortunately, after you see here, Kevin Durant, James Harden, Russell, all three of these guys won league MVP. Of course, KD won in fourteen, Russ won in seventeen, Harden won in eighteen. All three of these guys are going to the Hall of Fame. They're gonna be first ballot. And of course, Harden, you know, has put up great scoring seasons. You know, he averaged, I think, 36 points a game. The year Giannis won MVP. You know, he led the Rockets to the best franchise record in uh, team history. You know, the Rockets went 50 and 24, 93 94 when they won the championship. And Harden and Chris Paul and all of them broke that record in 18 when they went 65 and 17. Way broke. <laughs> they, they definitely broke that record, but unfortunately, they didn't win the championship. Of course, Russell Westbrook for three straight years averaged a triple double, and nobody had done it in like 50 plus years. Oscar Robinson was the last guy to do it, and Russell did it for three years in a row. Of course, KD, you know, he helped. He was part of the Golden State Warriors dynasty, won two Finals MVPs, you know, and he's four, four scoring, scoring titles, went 50, 40, 90, I believe, you know. So, like, these guys are all NBA legends, and NBA legends, definitely icons of their era, you know, late 2000s throughout the entire 2010s. So I'm definitely going to miss watching all these dudes when they retire. But I said, Russell's my favorite. Unfortunately, they couldn't win it all, like I said. You now they, you know, they started building this team when they were still the Seattle Supersonics. And I want to see these Seattle Supersonics come back. I know people have been saying that a lot. I, I really do miss the Seattle Supersonics. You know, I was small when they were around. But, you know, watching the old highlights like Ray Allen and Gary Payton and all those dudes, I wish they would come back. And plus, they had some tight uniforms. But <laughs> that's, that's not really, that really don't matter. But. Yeah, they drafted KD in 07. The 07 draft, that was the last year in Seattle. And then 08, they draft Russ. The 09, they draft Harden. And in the Harden's first year, I think that was the first year time they made the playoffs at Oklahoma City Thunder. Like, the Thunder have never really been bad in their entire existence. You know, 
They came to existence in 08, 09. They've never really been, like, at a long period of when they were trash. Like, 08, 09, they were trash. 2015, they missed the playoffs, but I think they were, like, the ninth seed. You know? So they've never really been bad. And even like this past season, they almost kind of made the playoffs. So they've never really been bad. Now, now they're about to be. So we'll see how long. I think we might get the Seattle Supersonics back soon. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. But... Yeah, man, yeah. 08, 09, or 09, 10, Ron's rookie, they made the playoffs. I think they went out in the first round to Kobe and the Lakers. Oh, God bless Kobe's soul. Um, 2011, they went out to the conference finals to Dirk and the Mavs. And then 2012, of course, they went to the finals. And I think they won game one, and they got smoked by LeBron and the Heat the rest of the series. Of course, everybody. A lot of people don't talk about this, that phantom foul call. And Okay, a lot of people don't talk about that. You know, you don't know what I'm talking about. Go look it up. LeBron fouled KD, but nobody talks about it, and, you know, that's where. But, like I said, outside those two, they had Serge Ibaka, who they called Serge Ibaka. You know, D. Fish was older, but he was nice, you know. Like, the Thunder, they Thunder have always had nice players around them, but, you know, they couldn't never get over the hump. You can say, you can put that all on Russ, but, on, you know, he was the point guard, you know. He has to make the good decision with the basketball. You know, he's the one bringing up the court, not KD, so. I mean, I can't put it all on Russ, but, you know. He, he does definitely get some of the blame. But, yeah, Russell Westbrook, his legacy, he's going to be the, the triple-double man. The AI of his era. Yeah, AI of his era. Obviously, you see him going against Steph Curry. You know, I, I've never seen the NBA. Russell Westbrook's 2016-17 NBA season is one of the most memorable seasons. Probably the most. That's probably the most fun season I've had watching basketball ever. You know, that season, the 2015-16 season, those are probably the two best Seasons I have watching basketball in my lifetime. I was born in the early 2000s, so uh, so a lot of you cats who are older than me that were, you know, around in the early 2000s or whatever, the 90s, you know, y'all probably disagree. But those are the two best years I've had watching basketball. The two most enjoyable years. And, of course, Steph was the MVP both years, 15 and 16. And he was MVP in 14, 15 season, the 15, 16 season, 17. Of course, Russ won it, averaging the triple-double. And that was... You know, hyped up competition. You know, that year, you know, every year, every game, Warriors, Thunder. But the most hyped, Matt, my most hyped up game was the first game back. Kevin ran back in OKC, you know. Everyone called him a cupcake and soft and snake and a traitor. And even I got on some of that shit. I called him, you know, you and I got on KD a little bit. You know, me a pussy, snake, traitor, you know what I'm saying? You could say I'm a huge Westbrook fan. I'm not, you know, you don't put another man on a pedestal, but Westbrook is definitely my favorite player. And I definitely thought they could have took took on Golden State. I, I do think they could. A lot of people disagree. I, I think they could have. I think they could have handled Golden State. Who knows? We'll, we'll never know now because, you know, after LeBron, LeBron kind of destroyed them mentally in that final. So who knows how the Warriors, would, if the Warriors would, ever would have bounced back. Well, of course, they would have had a great record. But, you know, in the playoffs, who knows? But obviously, here's KD and Russ face-to-face. This was in the 2017-18 season after the Thunder got Paul George and Carmelo Anthony. I, I remember watching this game live, man. And the Thunder beat, and by, if people don't know, the Thunder beat the hell out of the Warriors that game. Like I said, like I said, those Thunder Warriors games, bro, in 14, 15, 15, 16, 17, 16, 17, 17, 18, those were fun games. Those were probably the best games of the season. Of course, we all remember when Steph pulled up from like half court and splashed a three and won the game for the Warriors. That was in the, his, MV, his unanimous MVP season in 16. Then, of course, the Russ KD matchups and, you know, Zaza Pachulia or Skip Bayless called him Zaza Pacheep Shot. And he was, you know, he definitely should have got his ass whooped. It was just a couple times, but, you know. Yeah, and as for these two, Russell Westbrook and KD, I don't know if they'll ever be, they'll probably be friends again. You know, it's just little, it's just basketball, just little petty rivalries. I get he left you, and whatever, you know, and all that. But, you know, I, think, I hope they get over it. I hope they do. I, I know their moms are still cool. Of course, KD didn't have his dad. Russ did, so who know? Who knows? But oh, hope, hope they get over their little issue, whatever little issue they got have for each other. But yeah, Russell Westbrook's legacy. You know, he's definitely had one of the most interesting careers in the NBA. No, <laughs> the Thunder are the, probably the most interesting team. You know, one of the history they had the most interesting runs. You know, like I said, they've never really had a period of they were bad. Like, like I said, they made the playoff. Almost from the jump. Oh, wait, oh, nine. Like I said, they missed it. But every other year, they made the playoffs other than 15. And, you know, Russell Westbrook, um, because now, and the reason I'm doing this video, because he, he wants to demand, he's demanded a trade out of Houston because he doesn't know what their future is. You know, he's unsure about the future. 
Unfortunately, I don't think Russell Westbrook's ever going to win a championship. You know, people talk about him on the Clippers. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> you know, because Paul, even though I don't think Paul George wants to play with Russ ever again. And it's like and all these guys, not like they don't have anything personal against Russ. And you know, Russ seems to be a cool dude. It's just playing with him. They just because you know how he, he plays his playing style. They just can't win with it. They know they can't win with it. KD, Serge Ibaka, you know, Victor Oladipo, um, Paul George. They just know they just can't win with that that style. So and all the stuff talk about Russ going to the Clippers. I you, y'all can kind of dead that. Now <laughs> Russell West, Russell Westbrook's kind of more like a solo act. He's better off by himself. You know, now I know I do know this one team who, who who happens to play in a very very big market and a very legendary basketball arena. You know, and it's a very legendary basketball franchise. You can come, come play in New York, play for the Knicks. You know, we ain't got shit. We ain't got shit to do. No, you, should, you know, R.J. Barrett's still young. You know, Dennis Smith Jr. is whack juice, but you know, hey, just trade Russ over here to. New York, Houston, train them up, up here, you know what I'm saying? We'll give y'all RJ, you know, because James is getting older too, so you know, y'all can have RJ. <laughs> I'm just playing, but yeah, I might, I might have to do a video on the Knicks, on my Knicks, man. This, is, this shit's just crazy, but like I said, you know, trade. I said trade Russell Westbrook to New York. Yeah, they're not going to win it in Houston. I'm sorry. They, they, they got Harden and Russ's IQ, basketball IQ ain't high enough to go up against LeBron and AD, not even Kawhi and Paul George. You know, and by the way, people know this. Paul George was third in MVP voting that last year. What was it 2018, 19 with Russ? It's a shame. It's a shame they could never get over. They couldn't even get out the first round with Russ. You could say in 17, you know, because Russell Underman going against James Harden in Houston. Wow, but I mean, come on, you lose to rookie Donovan Mitchell. Like, come on, man. And I remember watching that game. What was it game five when they came back from like 25 points? I'm, I was praying because I wanted the Thunder to get past so bad. Like I said, Westbrook's my favorite player in the league. My favorite player in the league, you know what I'm saying? So, I hope I hope I wanted him to get past, but you know, unfortunately, they didn't. Okay, that's life. And then I all remember last year, him and Dame got it got heated with those two, got tense, and you know, the Thunder won a game in Oklahoma City. They mocked, you know, Dame Dame Lillard has that little celebration where he points at his wrist and like his Dame time. And then when Dame hit the three over Paul George, just a Dame Paul George, I'd be ashamed of himself. Paul George supposed to be an elite level defender. He's six foot ten. He had a little six foot three, six two. However tall Dame Lillard is, splash that three in his face and end the series, and then wave him off. Like get the fuck out of here. Yeah, but yeah, that was just a giant middle finger. That was really a giant middle finger to Russ. You hear me? Here he is on the Olympics. But I don't think Russ is ever gonna win the big one. You know, once trade for Houston, I say get him to like New York or. Or some some other team where he can be by himself, or hell, he can go back to Oklahoma City because they, they they're talking about trading Chris to the Suns. You know, to but back to Oklahoma City to to close out his career, you know, retire there, do some things there, do some things there, and then you know, go off and go off in glory per se. Like a better word, you know, he obviously not going to be a Thunder for life, obviously because his past season in Houston. But yeah, I think it'd be a good way for him to close out his career because I don't think he's ever going to win championship. I see him here with his MVP trophy. That he got, and he well deserved it. Completely deserved it, you know. People say Harden got robbed, and Harden got robbed. I don't think Harden got robbed. I think Russ deserved it. He, I, I think Russ did deserve it that year. Because that, cause what, cause what Russ did was just historic. Like I say, you hear him, see him here with Oscar Robinson, you know, basketball legend, Hall of Famer, one of the top five greatest point guards to ever play basketball. He averaged, Oscar Robinson, you know, averaged a triple-double in 1965, I believe, or one of, these, one of them years. He averaged a triple double and no and Russell was the first person to do it in fifty plus years. That's just historic. And Harden, you know, he had a great little season. I think he led the league in assists. He was top top ten, top five in scoring. Of course, the Rockets got, got beat the Thunder in the conf, in the first round, but you know. But you know, uh Russell just versus what, what he did was just so historic. So gotta give it up to him. He obviously, like I said, the AI of his generation, that's what Russell Russell Westbrook's gonna be remembered as. But yeah, the NBA, the NBA, I'm excited for this season, man. I, I want to see the Clippers bounce back, you know, after they, get, they got bounced by the Nuggets, <laughs> the Denver Nuggets, and, you know. I hope they come back and beat the Lakers, shut all these LeBron fags up, all these Lakers stands up. You know, of course, this is LeBron won the championship. All, of course, the it resurrected the Michael Jordan versus LeBron go debate, which it really is no debate. You know, it's no debate at all. 
Okay, it's Michael Jordan. You know, I think the last dance kind of proved it. But, you know, hey, LeBron won the championship. He has a very, very powerful cult personality, very powerful fan base across the planet Earth. So, of course, they're going to ride for him. And uh, also, oh, let me say this about this Russ, Russ Westbrook versus Dame Lillard thing. And look, I don't know if this – look, I'm not from California, the West Coast, obviously, so I probably shouldn't say this, but I mean, Dame Lillard's from Oakland. Russ is from South Central Los Angeles, you know, SoCal, Southern California, Northern California. Could that be a little bit of reason why there's so much tension in that rivalry? You know, all my people on the West Coast, is there – a rivalry per se, hood, gang, street stuff between Oakland, the streets of Oakland, and the uh, South Los Angeles, Southern Los Angeles. And y'all let me know, but I said Russell Westbrook, you know, he's had one most he three straight years after the triple double. That's legendary. He's gonna be one of the most remembered players of his generation. You know, this like late two thousands, early tw- throughout the whole twenty tens decade. He's one of the top players of that era, you know, won an MVP. He's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Okay, no, no question about it. No question about it. So, so uh, as for Russ Westbrook demanding a trade, I say go for it. You know, I say go for it and just let I say go for it and let James just do his thing in Houston. Send Russ somewhere. You know, like I said, come up to New York, Russ. Give us some entertainment. See what you do with RJ. I don't know. Get us to the playoffs. Just give us something. I mean, goddamn. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna do a video on the Knicks and how the NBA. Should step in, but yeah, if you like this video, click the button, click the like button, subscribe for more videos. Help a young brother grow on YouTube and comment down below what you want to see next. Who you want to see next in the greatest of all time series? And uh, and should I have to do a video on Michael Jordan versus LeBron and the greatest of all time series on Michael Andrew on Michael Jordan, which I feel like I shouldn't have to do, but I think it's disrespectful to Jordan. But you know, this whole LeBron, like I said, he got a very powerful fan base, so. Who knows, man? I may end up having to do one, okay? So, I'm going to see y'all.